I would just like to thank the Father's House for being the Father's House. Being the place where we can come to and feel at home and comfortable and uh, have a chance to grow. Because really I had not had that. Any place I'd ever been, I never felt comfortable enough to be accepted or loved or even have any of my gifts or anything accepted. And here I've been totally accepted and loved by the whole body. And that's enabled me the freedom to grow and to stretch out into the gifts and the callings that God's put in my life. So this has just been life changing for me. The New Testament church, yes, this is it. We have community. We have the word and we have the fellowship. Uh, we're never at a loss for having somebody that we can call and talk to. And that means the world to me knowing that I have people that are like-minded that are there anytime, anytime I need them. Um, it's hard to find words to, um, to just say how grateful I am for the way that God prepares and positions and places us where we need to be. Um, it was immediate for me coming here and hearing the stories of others and recognizing my own story in other people and feeling an instant sense of a family is great but walking it out doing life with people that God's knit you together with um, there's freedom and stability and security in that um, when your pastor uh, lives by the sound of the Father's voice and has the means to do his own thing but chooses to respond to the sound of the Father's voice. I can, I can connect with that. And we're all in this together. This is what we're all doing. And he shows up every day amongst us just doing life together. And that's what the heartbeat of the Father's house has been for me. And I'm really glad I'm here. I just want to say thank you to the Father's House for all that they've done for me and my life this last year has been kind of a, a struggle and, a, and a, a trial and I've had brothers that uh, call me every day and, and talk to me every day and when I get upset they're there for me to help me get through things and uh, I'm just thankful that I'm, I'm learning more about how to submit to God and how to be a uh, disciple of God because uh, discipleship is something I've been in church for 20 years and I've never learned anything about discipleship, but I've, I'm learning a lot more in the Father's house with discipleship and how to walk after Christ instead of uh, walking after myself. All right, for me in the past year, the Father's house has been very um, life-changing. The Father's house has taught me how to truly be a disciple of Christ, to be a follower of Christ, regardless of what I think, say or do, to really seek out Jesus and what he wants for my life. Um, I've been saved since 1999 and never have I heard anything like um, asking the Father what to do and getting His permission versus you go to Him and you kind of direct your life. For so many years I've kind of led God by the nose and I've led Him into some messes. But I'm thankful for the Father's house because it's teaching me to follow Him instead of making Him follow me. What the, what the Father's house has been to me is it means family. And I've learned what true family is and true love from Jesus through people. And I've learned what community means and how we care for each other and how God can do so much through every one of us that it's not just this person has this gift and this person has this gift. It's we all are combined together and we are one in Christ and I love that Chris makes Jesus the head of this church. I couldn't ask for a better place to be or a better family to have. I've never had this family, this fruit of love that has been poured into me so much. It's just, it's so beautiful. I recommend this church to anybody. Amen. I've, I've not been a full year here at the Father's house, probably, I don't know, several, four, five, six months. Um, 
the thing that has meant the most to me has been um, the Wednesday prayer time and the prayer meetings um, and finding and connecting with a group of people that, uh, that pray something real. Not just praying, God, I want a Band-Aid, God, help me feel better, God, I want my life to be a bed of roses, but praying, God, make it worth it. Asking God that this would make an impact in my community. Lord, that you would change the spiritual atmosphere of where I live. And if this is what it takes, if going through suffering is what it takes to see a generation impacted, then so be it because their lives are worth it and finding someone willing to pray that way and live that way and be that way. Hi everybody. I remember the first time I came here, I just, I felt like I'd come home. I just felt so myself. And that feeling has just increased since I've been here. I'm just becoming more and more myself. And Chris and Jenny just carry such an anointing to really help us to all to do that, to be real transparent. Every meeting, one layer has come off and then another layer. But to be so accepted and so valued um, is a, it's not happened in my lifetime. And it's a very freeing thing in every service, whether it's at the college or their home, uh, it doesn't matter. It's just the mantle on their lives and their dedication to Jesus Christ and what Father's asked them to do. It's a very tangible thing. And it's very transforming. There's tremendous grace to just relax. I'm experiencing more and more freedom and it's a freedom that is real. It's not something that Elaine is making up or trying to make happen. And because there's such a fellowship between each of us, there's such a, I don't know, a bond. We're in this thing together. We are a family. We're yoked. Uh, that's also a first for me. And this tremendous power of the love of the Father. It is the banner that's waved over us. And uh, that love doesn't fail, but to be in an environment that we actually tangibly know and recognize that is um, very life-changing. I love the Father's house, and I greatly value Chris and Jenny Taylor. So, so the Father's house has meant a lot to our family. Uh, we love the people. The people are amazing. Um, we love Chris and Jenny. We love the unity. We love the fellowship. We love the love. There's a lot of love. A lot of love. <laughs> so um, it means, Father's House means to our family, uh, Father's House. It's the Father's House. Mm, there's a lot of love in Father's House. Now, I, what, what it, for me anyway, is uh, uh, I just feel really fortunate to have been part of a, a group who one, they're going intensely after the Lord and want God's heart and everything. And uh, the other it seems like a lot of people go through life and they never find people who actually want to be transparent and grow community together and know each other and grow in the Lord. And I hope everybody involved knows just how blessed you are. And I pray that everybody takes full advantage of it. And uh, we, we, we look forward to knowing and being a part of whatever you guys do for years to come. Amen. So yeah, uh, being a part of the Father's house, um, we were first attracted to the worship, the uh, the uh, exuberant, anointed worship that uh, we found at the Father's house. But we're, we were quickly drawn in uh, by the deep fellowship, the sense of community that we haven't had for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, not being a part of community uh, had had left a void in our life, and uh, and again the worship is is wonderful it's anointed but uh, I think the sense of community has really brought back a dimension into our lives that we have not had for a long time so um, yeah the deep relationships we are developing already in a year it's been fantastic and it's 
it's something only God could have done. Only the Holy Spirit could do that. And so uh, we love being here. We love the Father's house. And of course, uh, uh, icing on the cake is Chris's excellent teaching that, uh, <laughs> that we uh, are able to sit under and, and love to sit under week after week. So, yeah, God bless you all. We love being here. Amen. Hi. Hey there. Okay, you go ahead and start. <laughs> okay. So what has the Father's House meant to me in this year? Uh, you know, as we approach a year anniversary, there's a lot of things to reflect back on. But, you know, in the beginning, the Lord made it real clear. He said, I want you to build a community. And um, and I really think that's happened. I, I mean, I look around, there's, there's real deep, genuine loving community and I know we all say you know oh yeah the church is a community but honestly this is the the deepest I guess manifestation of that I've ever been a part of personally um, and and of course uh, the Lord himself has done this and it is his house he named it the father's house so he took ownership of it right from the beginning so I'm, I'm just glad to be a part of his house i'm glad to be a part of something that he's doing yes. uh and it's humbling to to be able to you know have a role uh, in stewarding that but this is his house this is his church and and we're just uh trying to follow the holy spirit very carefully and let him lead and do what he's doing and uh it's just been one of the greatest blessings of my life the relationships the people uh it, it's genuine it's real and uh I, i'm very thankful to god for for what he's done you want yes. to share something too? Yes, I am very grateful as well. And when I think about it too, it just not just the Father's house, but His heart and the purity of it is just awesome. I love that we're never in a hurry. Um, we just are open to whatever the Holy Spirit wants. And I've just loved that freedom just to come in on Sundays or either here at the house, wherever it be, and just let the Holy Spirit have His yeah. way, whatever He wants to do. There's no agenda. I mean, we really don't. We don't sit and make these plans every week, like this is what we're gonna do this week. We just let the Lord lead, and it's been so refreshing, very refreshing to have those times in His presence where we just just let Him go and do what He wants to do. Um, and like Chris said, the community has been such a blessing to me. Um, everyone, after we eat and fellowship and spend time together when we have meetings at our house, it's always been a huge blessing to me at night when I'm putting the babies to sleep to hear the laughter outside the doors and just the, the family. It's just been so precious. I can't tell you the countless nights I'm putting the little ones to sleep and I'm hearing that. I'm like, thank you, God. I love that. I love that feeling at home. And it's just been awesome. So we are excited Amen. to be celebrating our first anniversary. <laughs> Praise the Lord. This is just the beginning. Yes. It's going to be an awesome adventure, guys. All right.